Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, I'm just going to show you a little bit on getting live data from the ABS sensors in an Audi, VW, Seat or Skoda vehicle. We are in an Audi at the moment, uh, but this guide really does work on any, any of those vehicles. So, uh, we're using the iCarsoft Vols 3.0 kit. You can pick this up at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com, or I'll pop the link in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones out there, they can give misreading information, they can damage your vehicle so stick to the genuine and official products and like I say you'll pick that up in the link below but okay so um, to get the live data from the ABS system in fact what I'm gonna do first of all I'm just gonna pop this into drive because we will need to drive off in a second um, so I'm gonna show you going to the diagnostics and this can help you you know if you've got like an ABS warning light a traction controlling light um, it's probably gonna be a sensor nine times out of ten it's gonna be a sensor not always but this will give you the information you need. So first of all, we need to go to control unit and we need to find the ABS braking system. So this looks like it would be here, brakes. So we go read fault code. Now in this vehicle, there are no faults. Not sure how well you can see that. We don't have any faults relating to the ABS system, okay? But if we wanna get live data from the ABS sensors, just to double check that, we need to go into find the right one right so we go here front left wheel speed front right wheel speed left rear wheel speed rear right now if we go front left it's a shame because it doesn't give me an, a sort of a an option to get all of these on screen at the same time that's really what I wanted um, View data. No, it's not going to show me that. It will show me one by one, which is still okay, I guess. But the, what you really need to do is just click on one of them. So we'll use front left wheel speed as an example, okay? And then we're currently stationary, but it shows zero kilometers per hour, okay? So we're on private land, and if I start driving, just keep an eye on that zero kilometers per hour. You'll see it's now going up, 6, 8, 10, 10, again 12, and that is basically how it works. Um, so you would really need to do that for all for the sensors and then whichever sensor gave a zero reading whenever the vehicle was moving, that would be the faulty sensor. It would probably already have been backed up by the fact that you would get a fault code saying yeah rear right or rear left etc but that's essentially how you do it okay and that's all I really wanted to show you in this video you can see you've got one of 88 that's like there's loads of different systems you can actually diagnose in these vehicles I could go I could I could make an hour-long video about this but um, my idea here is just to make short snippets just just so you've got the exact information in that video that you need to watch okay now that's all I wanted to show you so, I hope this video has helped, but if you are interested in this tool and you do need to get live data from the ABS sensors, then make sure you use the link in the description below this video, or you can just click on to Diagnostic World, and that will give you the link to the, uh, the genuine and official tool. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.